everyone, thanks for watching here on YouTube. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, go down and hit subscribe. It really helps us out making our decks and uh, just coming out with brand new content every week. So uh, it's really, really great. Uh, also check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash commandersbrew, and you can help direct uh, directly uh, donate to the show and uh, get in there and help us actually brew up the decks and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, check that out and uh, that would be awesome. But let's get into today's CB vlog topic. All right, Sean, we got a brand new uh, discussion topic today. Uh, this one looks exciting from what I see here in the notes. Uh, please lay it on us because I got to know what yeah. this is all about. Uh, this is the wildest multiplayer format you have ever seen. Uh, we came up with this randomly at a Commander Night. Uh, so here's the pitch. Do you have six players at Commander Night? Do you not want to play a huge six-player pod? and you don't have a good six-player variant that you're happy with, well, we have the format for you. The working title, I think, is Royal Rumble EDH, Ooh, or Commander okay. Royal Rumble, something like that. So you'll recall the Royal Rumble was a wrestling event. It's yep. my favorite of the wrestling events. Oh, it's the best one. It's the best one, uh, where every 30 seconds, a new wrestler enters the ring, and you don't get eliminated by pins. You get eliminated when you get thrown over the ropes and both feet touch yes. the ground. Yes. There's been a lot of shenanigans. If you, I'm not going to go to the, all the shenanigans that the Royal Rumble have had. I'm going to go to the shenanigans of this. Okay. Uh, this is how this came out. Uh, who was, so, so we were playing. Unfortunately, Andy, you couldn't be there, so we missed you greatly. But this was born anyway. I think Rob had a big hand in inventing it. Alistair contributed a lot to it. Uh, Guy was there, Mike was there, I was there. We all put a hand in this thing. So here, so here's, I'm going to tell you the advantages of this format before I go into it. It promotes speedy gameplay. That's good. People put, taking crisp turns. It promotes crazy moves and sudden political shifts. Oh, okay. I like this. Which is good, which is good. Uh, and, I mean, that's all I got to start with. That's all I got to start with. Okay. Well, uh, those are two great things. That's what I like to see in Commander. So here's how you go. Here's how you play this. Split the six into two three-person pods. Okay. For the purposes of this explanation, I'm going to say East Pod and West Pod. All right. So now you play those games normally at a speedy pace, probably. That's what I'm going to assume everyone's going to want to play speedily. Mm -hmm. So then one, eventually, so so far, so for good. Everything's normal. One of these pods is going to have a winner. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they have a winner, so let's say East Pod wins someone wins east pod west pod is still playing east pod wins the winner is crowned they're very happy the two people who lost from east pod they don't have a game now now they're out they're not doing anything if west pod that's the game that's still going on if someone has already been knocked out if there's already someone sitting there twiddling their thumbs that third person will join the two losers from the first pod and they'll start a new three player game. But what does the winner do? The winner, whether whether or not uh West Pod is done or not, whether or not that's the, the second pod that hasn't finished yet, whether or not they're at three or at two players, the winner of that other game will just join the game with their current board state of oh, wow. the game that's currently going. Oh, with their board state. Cool. <laughs> they'll, they'll just bring the whole board state over. Uh, their turn. So whoever's turn it is when they when they like got the win on the other pod. Mm -hmm. So we were got to know whose person whose turn it is because the the winner with the crown will join in last place after that person. Okay. Right. So so if it's like player A's turn and it's a three player pod, then the winner joins in, they're now player four. Right. Like they, they don't get a turn for three turns. Let me tell you, this ha was crazy. Cause then another game's gonna start over the other side and that other side has to play quickly because whoever wins that game is gonna switch over to the other game. The games never stop. People trading back and forth as they're winning, shuffling up. You gotta play speedy because you don't want you don't want like a winner to come in and you don't have a board yet. Like you don't want to develop it, but also you want to get the win to kind of like go over there at the right time on things is super, it was a super fun way. It was very engaging, very fun. So is, is the ultimate. So like, do you stop after a certain amount of time? 
we had to. That's right. what we did. Uh, but that seems like a good idea. Like you set a time limit on this, and then it's whoever has the most wins at the end or something. Right. Right. It's kind uh, of actually more like an Iron Man match. In wrestling, yes, uh, where you're just <laughs> trying to bit. get the most pins in 60 minutes or whatever. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I guess it's not exactly a rumble. I guess I'm just going for the but someone still, just joining you. Rumble. You know, it might be a little more like World War Three, uh, the <laughs> WCW event where it was three rings all attached what? to each other, and it was Royal Rumbles, but it was all in it was in the three rings. It was like three. Yeah, they were all attached. That was weird. Yeah, <laughs> I've never seen wild. one of those. Yeah. I got to see one. Pretty cool pay-per-view. Yeah. And there's all in the cage. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> each ring course. was in a cage. Um, each ring was in a cage. And in each cage was a briefcase. Was a briefcase. And in each yeah. briefcase <laughs> was, was a ladder. You had to get a ladder on them. To get a <laughs> uh, that, that, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, <laughs> if this we is, eventually. This does sound cool. I like this. So three, 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 two three-person games. Yeah. The first winner moves over even if it's a three person game still, right? Yeah, so now it becomes a four so that person. Becomes a four person game. game and then there's two people over here just twiddling their thumbs. Yeah, yeah, that's the worst case scenario. Mm-hmm. Um and a couple things we observed is that is nobody there a thing likes... where, like okay, let's say I go, I join that game. If I win let's say I win that game on my first turn cuz I can just take my board state, you know? Right. Like, what if I got an infinite combo? Crush these guys, go over here. This pod can't do anything about my infinite combo, so then I just win when I come back. Is that it? I'm just the champion? Uh, you just I crush mean, both pods, right? Th- this is the thing that, yeah, like maybe if you do two wins in a row, you have to retire or something like that. Like you just can't keep going. That seems like a fair side fine, rule yeah. to keep it go. I think, I think well, you I'll just tell you win this. and then we, we just start it over. Like, Oh, maybe. that The yeah. rumble. The, you're the winner of the rumble. You're the winner of the rumble. If you can beat both pods, like that seems like yeah. that seems very difficult to do. Well, I tell you, it really is because every time someone came in new as a winner, the existing pod hated them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like when someone comes in, we were doing a match. I was like, ooh, I don't like you. I got a rival with you. You're my friend. And then I think Mike came in with a few planeswalkers. He was doing his Aminatu deck and he had like a bunch of stuff going on. And we're like, who the F is this guy <laughs> with all these planeswalkers? <laughs> so the three of us immediately made an alliance. <laughs> and we're like, okay, I can kill that planeswalker. You can make that guy unblockable, kill this planeswalker, and I can go kill this. And like we just decimated <laughs> Sport knocked him out and then just kept playing our game. <laughs> okay, I may have spotted another s- small downside to this, this uh, game. Uh, I mean, that is a downside in the moment, but I think that's a nice way to keep the winning player from just continuing to win, right? Like, yes. I, it is a nice yeah. balancing effort. Yeah. Uh, and the what we never did see, we never saw an infinite combo win. Mm-hmm. So, like, if your infinite combo wins and then you take it over, is your infinite combo still going? Or is like, it like... I mean, it depends so on like, the combo. Like, if it's an infinite combo that creates, like, a billion tokens, then you go and you attack and you kill everyone. Well, you but then start, you, you... You just bring those billion tokens into the next game. Yeah, imagine. you would you would have to. Yeah, yeah, you would have to do that. So, I mean, that's not... That's a little bit of a flaw in the design of it, I think. The other flaw that we never encountered that we thought about is what if the winner joins a new pod? And then the two people are like, oh, we're, we're starting a new game. We're on turn two. And then someone wins that pod that's almost done their game. <laughs> and then you come over on other people who are on turn two. And then you're on like turn 15 <laughs> with a full board. I was thinking that too. I was like, what if one pod is just way slower? That's well, that's we gotta play speedy though, right? Yeah, like, like we found that. Well, I was in the new pod and there was another pod with a winner in it. And we were like, guys. Let's just play really fast and get something going so that they can't win and come over yet. And it put a, a lot of pressure on our pod. Like, we had to be aware of what was going on. It, it was pretty neat. <coughs> we we had a life total counter on a phone, and we just kept – we just left six names on it. Okay. And we just kept adjusting the life total of whatever name it was <laughs> as people moved around. Because you can't reset – like, you can't – a lot of apps don't let you join with a – person i mean you could just use the hard way like actual pen and paper but that's not as fun right um this sounds good though i mean i'm definitely like six is the worst number right i think so we cracked it it's too big to have one game just takes too long uh it's it's like too small to split into two good pods right like yeah three is not ideal seven at least you can get a four person pod going right yeah um so yeah, so six you get two threes and threes aren't ideal. But well, this and is, the problem with two threes is, is usually like one three is going to finish first, 
Yeah. And if you want to mix up players, you got to wait till the other one's done. Exactly. Uh, otherwise, you get the same three playing the same three all night. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> it's there's there's almost something I want to do where it's like, is this too crazy? Where like the two players who lose, once that player, once this guy wins, the yeah. two, those two players, they get to also continue playing. <laughs> Oh, for a second place? You know, like... Okay. Like, like they just, they get to keep playing, but it's a 1v1 game of losers now. And then when, a, when another person comes into there, they're at least like... So, like, what happens when the fourth, per, the person of four pod wins? It's a different person, let's say. Well... So Mike came over into your guys' pod. Let's say you won. Yeah. Now you go, now you go play it. You go start a brand new game against the two losers, right? Well, but no, but we're going too fast. No, so Mike came into our game and now mm. we have four people. So yeah. the other two people aren't doing anything. Yeah. Someone in our pod gets knocked out first. Oh, it's the knocked out. So it's a loser pod. That person goes and they just start a fresh game with three people. Right. Okay. And so we continue our game and then like, so in theory, yeah. So, so now that we're an advanced three pod and a beginning three pod, if someone else in the advanced three pod gets knocked out, they just have to wait around until someone else gets knocked out. But I tell you, like, it's not the worst when you're out, when you're like, Ooh, someone's close to winning over here. You can kind of like trash talk a little bit and just get people to speed up. Cause like, I think someone's going to win over here. You better have something ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, this is, there's a lot of variants you could in, you could include with this. A lot of oh, yeah. alternate stuff to do. I think this is this seems really fun. I mean, it, now that we're brainstorming a little bit, I kind of am inclined to like. I think a lot of the plane chase planes are way too chaotic and overpowered. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if you could make like rings, like like, and you and then every match happens at a different ring, and in ah. this ring, and, and you can't change rings. Like once you're in it, you're in it, right? But like when a new match starts, a new ring starts. It's in a new ring, and there's just little little things like like obviously one should be where there's the always the monarch. The first combat yeah. gets it right. Yeah. That should be in one of the rings. Yeah, you know, I'd like to see something like that where instead of like plane chase. I mean, this is a whole other topic, really. But <laughs> sure, uh, where it, like plane chase sometimes will just like heavily favor one person's deck, right? It'll be so. Like, heavily werewolves get plus two plus two and then you can make a wolf token or something it's like okay yeah I'm, i can make a wolf token but then this guy just happens to have this deck with wolves in it and not even that specific sometimes it's just like creatures get this and it's like okay well it just so happens in this three-person game i'm the only one with a creature deck or something right like, yeah yeah um, or like only naya lands can tap for mana yeah. <laughs> or something then, like that yeah and there's <laughs> stuff like then there's then you sometimes you go to planes and it's just like nothing this doesn't affect anything at all. Let's just get off of this plane so something can happen. Right. But you, if you're the player who it sucks, you can't spend a whole... I mean, you have to spend a whole turn trying to roll yeah, that plane chase dice. Yeah, trying to roll dice. that stupid dice. And if you don't get anything, you're like, well, there's my whole turn. Yeah. So not the biggest fan of plane chase for that reason. But I guess you... But if you curate the, the, the cards, right? Like you pick the cards, like it's going to be a lot better. Yeah. Um, but if, we, if there was a version where like this sort of happened, where you did things that are more generic like that, that you know are going to affect a deck. So they involved like, they involved mana, they involved, you know, ta like base rules, you know, like card what drawing. About, and, you know. wh what about it, to carry the wrestling theme forward? What if like in the, when you roll the plane chase die, there's different managers hanging around outside. And if you roll successfully, the manager like, I don't know, destroys a creature for you. you or like two <laughs> green, Bobby the Brain Heenan. <laughs> yeah, like he, he like, like your manager like throws an artifact in. Like now you have like a sword. You <laughs> so. get like a sword for one turn. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It equips for free. And yeah. <laughs> uh, at the end of the turn, you exile it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or it goes back in the manager's zone, the manager's zone. <laughs> this is, a, this is, now, this is, again, this is a whole other thing, but this sounds really fun. Like, yeah. This, now we're talking. Like, oh boy. That's crazy. You go in with a, or like, oh man, okay, whatever. This is a whole okay. different thing. You know what? You know what? I, I know we're, we're, we're recording one episode today and we'll record an episode next week. Mm -hmm. I'm going to commit to brainstorming a bunch more and we'll present a little slightly more developed WWE. Like wrestling. Mr. Fuji throws the salt in the eyes. Yeah, and, sure. So let's like, figure all your out creatures a top down tapped. way to create that yeah. magic, right? So it's <laughs> you, like, it's like a sleep. You tap all the creatures, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Fuji does sleep, and yeah, then yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Bobby the Brain gets up on the gets up on the ropes and like tries to distract the players. Uh, Paul like Bear reanimates any creature. Yeah, he's a reanimator. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bobby, or uh, Jimmy Hart throws is the guy who throws the weapon in because he had the megaphone. 
She yeah. throws in the yeah. weapon and they hit them with the megaphone. Yeah. Okay. Well, our our love of wrestling and <laughs> magic is finally coming together. Finally. Uh, but this is this. I love this idea. Uh, I would. I mean, I think we all got to try this. If we get six people uh, at a commander this is the night, format. Yeah. Uh, I think we all got to give this a shot and report back to us. Uh, let us know if you tried this out because yeah, I'd love to hear some rule variants. I'd love to hear how it just went. Uh, One thing that I this. brainstormed that I didn't mention is maybe it's like like I don't know. Do you want when the player comes in? Do they have to tap all their mana when they come in to the new game, or do they come in exactly as is? Mm, that's a good question. Because it's weird. It, it it might feel weird, but maybe that's just part of it. If you can win, like you got to plan your wins. Like I could tap out to win, or I could try to win with all my mana open. So like when I get there in there, is possibly the way where like you win by doing something, and then it's like okay, I leave these. But so when I go into the next game, I can just do this and win again. Yeah, you know? maybe, maybe. I think you got to tap your lands. I think you got. I think you enter the game with your lands tapped. I think you're like. You're at the mercy of the table for a full go around, which kind of, kind might, of might be too harsh. But anyways, I mean, but worst case scenario, they knock you out immediately. You join the other two yeah, losers you just, you just beat and you start again. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm loving it. Uh, I'd like to hear what everyone else has to say about it. Uh, hit up the comments, hit up Twitter. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, this is very cool, Sean. Thanks for bringing this in. You're welcome. OK. Um, well, yeah. Uh, just remember, uh, hit subscribe, help us out on YouTube, and um, we will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you love what we're doing, consider supporting the show by going to patreon.com slash commandersbrew. And if you want to get any of the cards from our deck list, go to our TCG player affiliate link below. That helps us out too. And for a free way to help us out, consider sharing the show with some friends. Like and subscribe, add a comment or two. See you later. Bye.